Alright guys, so I know I'm a little late with this review, but uh, here it goes anyway. This is pre pretty much going to be short. I, I really don't feel like doing a long review for this show at all. So I've watched the Game Awards on Friday, December 5th. It was like an only online event for the first time ever, you know, fully funded by Jeff Keighley himself. And the verdict for the ceremony was just... It was average, you know? It wasn't worse like 2013's was, man. I mean, God, that was a train wreck. But this one was a little hard to watch at times. And, um, well, yeah, just average. That, that's all I can say. Just an average show. I, I felt like it wasn't worth three hours of my life. The biggest surprise, though, was Nintendo showing that, you know, Link's horse has autopilot and Star Fox is on the way, I guess? Well, anyway, let me stop being cynical. Um, well, I'm gonna be critical at first. First of all, let me comment on your sound team. You guys are so off this year. It hurts, my man. It hurts. And I don't even know if this team was like a first time, you know, uh, production team for sound or whatever. But you know what's bad when someone has to run out there and place a mic stand out there three minutes after the presenter comes out for the uh, nominations. Also, the commercial breaks for, you know, during the sound, you can still hear like, uh, uh, like two fans being like woo yeah awesome woo well you know the background should have been completely cut out to be professional like these commercial breaks and they were just showing old trailers to like fill up time and you know a whole bunch of filler and I'm like wow that's you guys should have planned this a lot better and had a better location for this you know but um you know, the world premieres are nice. Um, God, that before trailer. Damn, that song. Jesus. The fuck was that? Oh! Jeez. Oh, oh, oh. You should have saw the chat in YouTube. The thing was blowing up like, yo, turn this shit off. Oh, man. But let's talk about some good things now. Um, I'm really glad that Total Biscuit won. Con congratulations to him. He's really um, a trendy gamer that is really informative and entertaining and really cares about the ethics and morals in gaming. And that's what I strive to become informative, you know, for my videos as well. Um, you know, uh, the, the game industry icon to the King's Quest. I don't know the names of the creators by heart, but that one was really good. And we need more of that, you know. We need some of that, uh, some of that of the, you know, guys who revolutionized and, you know, changed gaming for us. And some, you know, players who do competitions like the Donkey Kong or the Pac-Man, you know, players, the world best Pac-Man players ever. Like, they showed last year, you know, but in a better, con like, in a better place to show it, you know? So I'm glad this award was, it was pretty decent. The world premieres was good. I really love the Metal Gear Solid uh, world premiere. And uh, No Man's no Man's Sky was okay, but it pretty much showed the same shit. Like, the same thing I've seen. Like, it was like the same trailer, but in a different montage, you know? You, you you take, you fly out of one planet and then you land in another planet and then that's it. And it's like, okay, I get it. And then their song, their song was like, I don't even know if that was worthy of a performance. I, I would understand if you played their song like during a commercial break or something, but that was not performance wise. Like there was nothing. It was just the same droning sound over and over again and it wasn't good it wasn't good i did like the presenters but it felt like these guys were trying too much to compensate that they were gamers like i knew who were gamers like you know boogie and all the youtube guys and uh you know some esports guys but these other guys like the guy from imagine dragons was like yeah i play league of legends and uh i, I play this too and yeah yeah we're gamers uh, we promise you know we have to say this you know for the fans but we're gamers, yeah. You know, League of Legends and uh, Zelda and uh, Mario and... Okay, we get it. Relax. Calm the shit down. Relax. Slow your roll, all right? There were some good performances. There were some good things. But other other than that, the show was decent. Uh, I did love... Uh, the only thing I loved from 2013's award ceremony was the actual uh, small room that was that they were in. Uh, well, it kept it kind of personal, you know? Even though Joel was heck heckling the shit out of uh, Jeff Keighley, the, the small rooms was the best thing, you know? And they could have had, like, performances of, like, the best guitar. Guitar Hero player versus the best Guitar Hero player. Or, you know, like, a, a fighting um, match off or something to kind of fill in the space. And this DJ, this DJ was just weird, man. Ugh. Uh, but whatever. So, um, it was an okay award show, award show for the first time, but, you know, 
hopefully they get a better a better sound team uh better planning better presenting and hopefully better online um you know winners it, I, I i was really happy that shovel knight won yay the yacht club games yes that that was my pick out of all the out of all the cheesy ass you know nominations they got one right and that was you know shovel knight winning and far cry 4 for winning best shooter whatever whatever anyway i'll see you guys later comment below let me know if you want to hear more news and uh i'll be back you guys have a good one peace and love cafe ole i'm out of here Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.